mindfulinvesting.com and today I'm going to talk about this picture I posted on Facebook over a year ago. It was when I closed on a $40,000 diamond fee, wholesale fee, but even now I still get to this day a lot of email with questions about it. So I just wanted to do a video and also add the context and some behind the scene things about this wholesale fee. Um, Number one, what I wrote down was, um, for some people that don't know, I actually was laid off from my job one week before that picture. So it was like really good that I was even pursuing any type of real estate venture on the side so that when I actually got laid off, I was able to close on this deal and make $40,000 and have a little buffer there after I got laid off. And number two, I wanted to um, also talk about the fact that I was like really excited at the time because I had just had a baby, had just had Rachel, and for people that don't know, I was actually pregnant like five years before that, and it was an ectopic pregnancy, and when you have an ectopic pregnancy, you have to terminate the pregnancy because the baby can't make it, and it's life threatening for the mom, so I was like completely devastated. That was like, I would say the lowest point I've ever been in life. And what happened was when I got pregnant again, I had the exact same due date again. Both times I was due on Thanksgiving Day. And so it was like really eye-opening to me. I started to really think that, you know, this must be telling me that, you know, I need to always give thanks no matter what. So that's also a lot of the context to this picture that I was just trying to celebrate having a healthy baby and being able to take care of her. And then three, I wanted to add that I didn't have like a really quick start to this business. I had actually started a year before um, I had the $40,000 deal. I signed up with a mentor and like the very first um, house I had on contract, I couldn't find a buyer. I had to go back and cancel the contract. And then even after that, I didn't close on my actual first deal until like eight months after I signed up and this was like with a mentor. So by the time I finished the program, you know, financially when I looked at it, you know, I was in the negative because I had paid the mentor and I had paid, you know, like marketing and other things to get my whole business set up. And my first wholesale fee I made was like thirteen thousand seven fifty. So financially I was like in the negative when I when I ended the program, but then when I really thought about it, I was like, man, I was I was light years ahead of where I started as far as the knowledge in real estate and that I was like, just like, you know, wow, like, you know, I have my own business now, you know, I know how to do this repeatedly. And so that's what I did. I just, you know, repeatedly did what he taught me and, you know, I've been able to close several deals, but it's been like so many obstacles and things I've had to go through. I mean, even the check, you know, I got the check printed because I know most people would get $40,000 wire, but I got it printed because, you know, I wanted to print it out, I wanted to take the picture, I wanted to put it up in my office, you know, for memories, for motivation, to remind myself to keep going, and then, you know, I go to the bank with the check, and, you know, they wouldn't even take the check from me, you know, the bank manager was nasty to me, she thought the check was fake, you know, so it's like, it's always something going on. Like, I, you know, I couldn't believe it when I got to the bank, how they treated me. I guess, you know, I don't look like someone that should be coming to the bank with a $40,000 check. I don't know. And so um, I had to call the settlement company and tell them this because the branch manager, she's like, oh, well, where did you get this check from? Just like really, really nasty to me. I mean, I was still with Rachel. My husband was with me. I mean, I don't think we look like crazy people. But, you know, she was just really nasty to us. And so, you know, since she was the manager, they wouldn't take the check. And, you know, I called him and he was like ever so nice to me. Um, I had used digital closings. I think his website is even digitalclosings.com. The owner is Ali. And Ali was like so nice to me and really talked to me. You know, he didn't have to. Um, and he kind of told me, hey, you know, just come on back to the office. You know, I'll just wire you the money, but just bring the check back. Because he's like, hey, that's a real check. So I can't wire you the 40000 and then you still had the check. And I said, well, it's fine, because I already took the picture, and I really wanted the picture for the memory. And, you know, it's other times, too, that Ali has helped me, you know, with other title companies have screwed up on my deal, and he's come to, like, help me in the end. So he's, like, really good. I would recommend him. If you're in Virginia and you need a title company, Digital Closes is awesome. And you definitely tell him that Neva sent you. 
But, you know, I just wanted to do this video to let you know that it's more than just, you know, running and chasing after money. There's other things as well and obstacles. And I still have things that I go through now that are not easy for me. But I just got to still go keep going. I got to still keep talking to myself. I have to still motivate myself. And so I just, that's what I wanted to add that when you see this picture all over the internet, that it's not just that I posted that, you know, hey, I got $40,000. There were several victories that I was getting through at that time. And that's why, you know, I posted it. So take care and see you next time. Bye-bye.